Hey guys, Jake and Devin back with you. Some of you have been requesting a humidor tour. So here we are. We're going to do our humidor tour. <laughs> yeah, might as well. So let's get right into it. Do you want to go first or want me to go first? Uh, you go. Okay. Okay, guys. So I just picked this humidor up uh, probably a few months ago off famous.com, actually. It wasn't that overly expensive. I think it was like 60 or 70 bucks. So pretty good value there. Uh, in my top row, this is where I keep a lot of my Uzis, which are my favorite. And yeah, just some random singles in here. Got double Camachos in there. Those are going to be a good review soon. Um, what else in here? A very big Romeo and Juliet double Toro. This thing's huge. So that's going to be another good review. Some Cohibas in here. Now let's open that up. And yeah, just kind of a bunch of everything got nubs in here some Casanos um, over in this corner is kind of like my premium corner like oh, Monte Crisco open master Robania Canada you know short Churchill this is a review I'm very excited for actually so this is the most expensive cigar I have this is around a $75 cigar here in Canada so good stuff a big Cohiba here that's an also another one I'm excited for, Hoyo de Monterey, a 2013. So, yeah, then there's some Bolivares in there, whatever. Uh, let's move over to this side, some Gran Habanos that I really like, the number three and the number two. And, yeah, just kind of whatever in here. The Judge, more nubs. Gotta have a stash of nubs. <laughs> Alright, oh, there's also a CAO I found in here. I thought I smoked that. Perfect. Alright, so, I want to hand it over to you. Oh, and another one that I'm kind of excited for. It's called the Inch. Look how thick that thing is. And it just looks old and ancient and, I don't know, looks weird, but we'll find out soon enough. Look how big these two guys are, actually. Hold on. Easy. Those two are huge. <laughs> Had to adjust the camera. The Rafael Gonez Honduran and I don't even know what that is. Flor de Oliva Corjo. Yeah, so those are two monster sticks as well. And yeah, oh look at this one as well. This is a new one I've got not too long ago. A CAO flathead. So very skinny. It's boxed. Looks weird. Very weird wrapping. I also have some mini CAO flavor ones in here. They're still wrapped up. These, I believe, are like sweet plum or something. So, very sweet. I also have an Al Bradley Max, one of my all-time favorites as well. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright guys, uh, for my humor, I like to keep mine right around that temperature. Temperature. Always <laughs> that humidification. That's better. All right. So, to start off, I've got these uh, Grand Hamado Connecticut Number Ones. So those we're pretty excited for. I've got a few. Uh, I don't even know how to say that. I don't know really how to say this, but uh, maybe the Macanudo. Those are pretty nice. Those are something different. Oh yeah. And then these ones. These ones uh, I got off the auction here. They're, they're La Aurora. And uh, they don't look too fancy or anything, but they were really high rated. And then I've got some premiums here. I've got a Monte Cristo. I've got a few Rocky Patels, vintage 1990s. I'm actually really excited for this one. This is my Romeo and Juliet montage. Um, Monotogue, or well, I don't know how to say it, but that's what that is. This one's huge. This is my Oliva, <laughs> the Siri O. And I've got, I love CAO cigars. These are probably my favorite cigars. So I've got uh, CAO Brasilia, 
the CAO America. They don't have a Canada one yet, I don't think. So as soon as that comes out, I'll be getting that. I think this is just a, yeah, this is just the CAO Gold Maduro. Let's see what else I got here. Just a normal CAO. I don't know what the name for this is, but now I'm getting into my Rocky Patel 15th anniversary. I'm actually really excited for this one. And I'm trying to keep up with Jake here and his Cohibas, so not much, but I got a little Cohiba in there. Another CAO times two. I've got a, a what is it? Camacho. Camacho Triple Maduro. We already did a review on those. Those are great. Those were great cigars. And then I've got this one, actually. This one is a really good cigar. We actually went to the golf course today, and I had this. This is a Voodoo. Pretty plain, but it's a very good cigar. And I think I've done a review on this one, too, the Back Rat. Yep. This one's a uh, infused cigar, and I'm pretty excited for that. Well, I've already done it, but I like them. All right, then we get down to here, and this isn't uh, too stocked up, but... Uh, so these are uh, just a little cheap smoke that I give away to uh, anyone who wants to try a cigar or, you know, anything like that. Just a nice rolly. We'll probably do a review on those soon. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> I really like these. These are my uh, Colorado by Don Lino. They're great with a morning coffee. And actually, I've got a few... Uh, little sweet cigars this is a cao karma sutra splash and this is like a uh what was it a a mango and mint or something like that mm -hmm. and then these i'm very excited for this review the kentucky fire cured and that's uh by and uh, my uzi weighs a ton and then i just got some more doubles down here so that's pretty much it for my humidor. We'll probably end up doing another one when we get our humidor stocked up. All right, guys. So uh, I guess that's just something you guys want to see, a nice little humidor tour. Sorry, my humidor actually isn't too stocked up. We've uh, been quite busy, so we've been trying to do the review, so my humidor has been going down. <laughs> yeah. But we'll probably have a few shipments coming up soon. Oh, definitely. We're always hitting the auctions. We're always going to love what the back end is. So we always have something new in there. Definitely. All right, guys. Stay tuned for some more cigar reviews. More coming up. Don't forget to check out our Instagram. We're updating daily. Thanks for watching, guys.